right, you guys ready? Ready to go. Uh, I'm ready. All right. Uh, what's up, YouTube? This is Mega Capital G here with uh, Team X. T uh, <laughs> Just call me Slim. Slim from Team Slimetry. Vexicus four six six seven, and then Corey, Corey Roca, the Sad YCS <laughs> champion from YCS Atlanta. Uh, Corey is here because he wants to give his side of the story. It's been talked about on Zodiac. It's been talked about on Reddit. It's been talked about, uh, talked about on YouTube. And, you know, I feel like we need to have all sides of the story because I always feel like there's three sides of every story, A, B, and then the truth is somewhere in the middle. So um, is there anything that you guys want to say before we basically let Corey jump into it? Slim? Yeah, it's the same. I mean, I, I we were rooting for him just like you were. Like, when we saw he was, like, the one of the only Paleozoics in top, it was, like, win. You know, beat out the zoo players, and he did it, so. Okay, and, okay. and just to be clear, um, I don't have anything against Corey. I didn't honestly know anything about him until about yesterday. So I go into this with no preconceived notions about his character or anything like that. I'm going to try and be as fair as and as unbiased as possible. Corey, would you like to start at the beginning? Uh, sure. Um, approximately, I'd say about two to, I guess one and a half to two years ago, um, uh, online, there was a lot of ruckus about me sending dick pics. Now, I did send dick pics. I'm a guy. Uh, these girls, um, I sent them. Actually, Corey, you probably not use their names, because I, I don't know if they want to be dragged into this. Oh, well, okay, well then, can we edit that out? Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just run it. I mean, I, we can yeah. we can edit it, but just, you know, you can, you don't have to disclose the specifics. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're Go not, ahead and we're continue. We're not going to do that. All right, so all right. Uh, I sent them to a total of four people. Uh, they were all of age, two of which... Uh, one of them which I dated, and the other one which I slept with. So I guess 50% isn't that bad being a guy, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so uh, basically uh, they started posting them online and everything. And I know there was a lot of speculation saying that I was engaged at the time. I was not engaged, actually. Um, my fiancé at the time had relapsed on heroin. And um, I people that actually know me in person... Uh, I do not drink, nor do I use any drugs of any sort, because I'm extremely against it. So I actually left her, and I guess, uh, so to speak, uh, fill the void, right? Rebound. Uh, so that's where I was in life. So I dated her for almost four, I guess, almost four years, and we were engaged. And uh, that pretty much just, you know, all went to shit. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So they were putting them online and everything, and I, I literally could not care. I I mean, it just really didn't bother me at all. Um, then uh, about three to four different people uh, started calling my house from the hours of 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. They started constantly, constantly calling my grandmother's house. My grandma at the time was not well. And uh, she needed her sleep. I mean, she's 70 years old. I lived with her. I lived with her at the time to help her through all her problems and everything, you know. So that way, she wouldn't have to live alone because my grandpa had passed away. Um, basically, it just I said legitimately one comment that I I I'm forever gonna regret because the internet just went completely wild. Uh, I, I basically said what I said because I was so angry that we were up at 2 a.m. My grandma was in tears sitting on the bed. And she said, why won't they stop calling my house? I mean, how would you feel if your grandma was going that and she was in tears in front of you? Would you not say something to make them stop? I mean, nobody wants to see their grandma cry. True. So, so one thing. So it sounds like your number was leaked. Is basically what we're hearing. Is that That's your correct. some of some of your personal information seems like it got leaked by, you know, obviously someone or some people in this in this game that know you and wanted to, I guess, get back at you or something like that. Correct. Exactly. Was this leaked through Zodiac, uh, Corey, or no? 
my number? Was it leaked through? Yes, it was leaked through Zodiac. Uh, I don't know if Cordero actually remembers. He uh, actually was the one who told me, Corey, you should go look at Zodiac because they posted the number. They posted your number on there. And it, was, it wasn't it was my, my cell phone. If it was my cell phone, you know, I can handle the heat. I'll just put it on vibrate. But the number that actually went up was my grandmom's house number. How did they get that? Yeah. Do you I have any know. idea how they got that information? Uh, well, uh, people probably know I'm in Delaware, and uh, I uh, she's in the phone book. She's, yeah. Oh, fair mm-hmm. enough. Those still exist, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, she's she's old. We're she's still using phone book. I don't know. Well, do, um, I, I was going to think- say his his last name. I guess could be her last name, so there could be. Yeah. Uh, well, I was gonna. I was there. gonna say, did you ever use that number? Did you ever contact any of these these girls or any other players through that number? Because I feel that that could have been how it was done if it wasn't looked up. Uh, I mean, I think maybe one of the girls. I actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the girl that probably leaked it. Uh, she was not happy because I was not interested in her. I was just looking for a fling, mm-hmm. and uh. I mean, maybe she got, you know, upset about that. Okay. You said that you regretted that you regretted sending the message, right? Absolutely. Cause I, I'm never going to do it. I'm, I'm Italian. So I have a huge mouth on me mm-hmm. uh, Not by ever saying that's an excuse for what I said, but in no way was it ever true. And believe it or not, I was investigated. The FBI actually came to my house Yeah, could you could you actually go ahead and explain that whole situation for people who don't know? Uh, sure. Uh, I was investigated by the FBI. They actually came to my house, knocked on my grandmom's door, and I think it was literally a week after uh, some idiot brought guns to a uh, Pokemon World Championship or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they were all in their trunk, and then they came to my house, and they were like, we're just trying to make sure you're not, you know, crazy like that. And um, they gave me a full personality analysis, and <laughs> we ended up talking for like two hours because I they concluded I was a really nice guy, and I guess they just wanted to see what I was like. Uh, they <laughs> not only have do I not own a gun, but I have never even fired a gun ever in my life. Because I actually, uh, in school, I raised money. I live in Wilmington. Uh, For those who do not understand, uh, we have one of the largest gun violence rates per capita in our, where I live. And um, when I was in school, I was raising money to bring more police enforcement into my city for gun violence. Because one of my friends was actually shot and killed. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, I mean, that's life, you know, you, you just got to move on. Okay, so you are very remorseful about sending that message, and you were yeah. never actually going to do anything like what the, what the message actually referred to. Absolutely not, and honestly, if I wasn't doing so well in the community as far as, like, actually playing, like, I, I mean, it's absolutely terrible, like, for, as far as my PPG sponsorship... Um, you know, it, George, I mean, he, he did not want to handle the, the lashback of the community. And I mean, that's fine and everything, but me personally, I would stick by my teammates when they're going through something like that. Uh, but, um, they, uh, they basically said that I was cheating and the head judge of the ARG that I participated in said he talked to, uh, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> to all the judges in that vicinity and say Corey was not only not cheating at all, but the only time he did anything that was even remotely shady was round one versus Patrick Hoban. I actually didn't know what my card did. I threw it in my extra deck and everybody <laughs> told me what it did. So I just assumed it did what it did. And they immediately fixed it that round one on stream. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it's terrible that people thought I was a cheater, and by any stretch of imagination, two years pass, and people are still holding a single 
Facebook comment over my head? I mean, how many of you... Everyone's said stuff on the internet they wish they could take back. But one comment, I think that's a little rough. I I understand, but how long have you been playing the game, Corey? Uh, I played the game since its inception. Okay, so... 2002, yep. Yeah, we're, we're, in, the, we're in the same boat. I, I started when, I believe, Magic Ruler was released. It's like the third set. Me too. Hey, uh, calm down. This is, calm yeah, this down. is not a measuring contest. Ka- Kaiba, you, you starters, we <laughs> the, know, the, we know. The point <laughs> is, I and I started, I started playing the game in Baltimore, another city known for gun violence. And I have never heard of anything like that. So you can understand, even a couple of years later, why people would be shocked because not knowing you personally, you know, when you see a comment like that, you might think, is this guy, does he have a screw loose in the head? It does, if he loses a match, what's he going to do? How's he going to react? Like you can, you can understand the shock from the community, right? Correct. Uh, anybody that has ever met me in person knows that I'm always smiling and always cracking jokes. And I'm never serious about anything. I'm just always trying to have fun. I'm a duelist, man. I just, I love to play. I really do. Okay. Um, Slim, uh, Vaxicus, is there anything you guys want to insert? Because I've got about seven questions specifically that I want to ask to, uh, to Corey. Is there anything you guys want to interject? Okay. Um, Go ahead, Slim. Well, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty obvious, you know, you're remorseful and everything. And do you feel like at the time that you wrote that message, like, what was going through your head, basically? Because, you know, we all, of course, have all made mistakes. We've all said stuff we wish we could take back. But do you feel there was a certain reason why you used the terminology you used and you used the words you use, knowing that once you, you know, once you, like, clicked entered or whatever, that once it was on there, it, all it took, took is a couple seconds for someone to screenshot it. And that's basically what it came down to. Once it was screenshotted, even if it was deleted and someone screenshotted it, it was there. Did you... Yeah, did you ever think that, you know, like, wh- I honestly, I guess, I just want to know, you know, what were you thinking at the time? Because we all get frustrated, we all say things, especially when we're frustrated, and, you know, like, what was your reason that you used those exact words, I guess? Because I feel that that's, unfortunately, what got you into the bind, is using those particular words. Correct. Um, honestly, I just wanted to see my grandma stop crying. I was like, I'm going to do everything I can to make this stop. And uh, the people that were, I picked up the phone for, and there was just people laughing on the other line. Like, this was just some big joke, but there's literally a person crying. <laughs> uh, I, what I did was, in basically just a desperate attempt to make things stop. And honestly, the only thing that people listen to is not... The fact that they're hurting somebody. I mean, Zodiac Duels is one of the most ruthless internet groups I have ever seen in my life. It's disgusting. So I thought that... (laughs) Yeah. And honestly, I felt like the only thing they would listen to is fear. So I I wrote that, and then I immediately flicked off my computer about 15 minutes after I saw all these people, like, start freaking out. And I was like, oh, jeez. So at that at that point you realize maybe you had gone a little too far. Uh I mean judging by their over 100 comments and I say one comment so That's basically a lot. I was being bullied mm-hmm. for over I'd say 2 hours and I say one comment. Mm-hmm. I mean if if I knew how like <clears throat> imagine if I could go back in time and screenshot all the things that other people were saying. Oh, I don't, I don't dispute that, that people probably said some really mean things. And they, they definitely went over the line. I'll, I'll give you that. But, uh, yes, uh, what I said was in no way, shape, or form should have ever been said. And, yes, 100%. I, I guess I'm used to talking in real time. I do not use the Internet whatsoever. Everybody that knows me knows I am I am computer illiterate, man. I was trying to download Skype right here on my computer just so I can have this conversation. I couldn't figure it out, so I'm actually using my iPhone. Thank God there was an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Vexi, are you good? All right, all right. You got you got the floor. 
Okay. Um, question number one. Were you ever suspended from the ARG Circuit Series? If so, explain. I was um, suspended for exactly two series, one of them including the 25K. Um, I'm actually... I'm actually pretty good. Um, I, I'd say I'm on very good terms, actually, with the person that owns it. And we, we talk all the time. I was actually employed by uh, ARG uh, right, actually, not too long before, like maybe like two months. So Jim knows me, you know, fairly well. And, um, yeah, I, he was like, Corey, I, I know you, and I know what you said. You were just shooting off at the mouth like you normally do. But um, I have to do something to keep the peace. So he okay, so suspended me. you go ahead. Yeah, so he suspended me for the two circuits, and then I was allowed to play again. Okay, um, why are you no longer on pro play games? Um, I am not on pro play games because of the backlash of the community. There was there was thoughts of me. There was people saying that I was cheating. There was no evidence of me cheating. Um, I played. I guess, I mean, you can look me up on YouTube. I have had over 20 feature matches, at least. I shuffle my opponent's deck against the table. I never pick it up off the table. I'm always very sportsmanlike. I always try and keep it super light and fun because that's what this game's supposed to be. And I legitimately, I just like to be competitive in this scene. In no way, shape, or form have I ever impersonally cheated. Okay. Um, I guess a quick add-on to that. Uh, are you aware of the fact that most of the videos on Pro Play Games' uh, YouTube channel that include you, the comments have been blocked? Are you aware of that? If so, <laughs> yes, do you know? Yes, because of the people on Zodiac Duelist. They kept commenting the same shit they've been commenting for the past two years. Okay. All right. Number three, um, do you consider yourself a clean player? If so, how do you respond to accusations that you cheated um, doing things like I've heard accusations of using Dark Lord effects twice and cheating on ARG streams. It sounds like you touched on that a little bit. If you could just go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, in no way have I ever cheated. Like I said, I've been in the community's eye forever. Um, there has been, <laughs> through the course of Yu-Gi-Oh, you are under a lot, especially being on live stream, you are under the stress of the public. On top of being under the stress of the public, you are fatigued from an entire day of mental strain. You are going to make mistakes. I have seen people on stream play soul charge and attack. I have seen people activate and jelly more than once. I have seen people have two battle phases. Like, through the course of this game, there are some things that you just forget. Like, if you activate a Dark, a dark Lord's effect, right? and you page through your grave, and then you evaluate all the other options, and then you make up another 14 plays. I don't know if people know how explosive the Dark Lord deck is, but you go through another 14 plays, and then you, sometimes you lose track. I mean, for people to think, oh my god, he was just cheating the whole day. Do you think all my opponents were so stupid? Do you think I was stupid enough? To sit there and cheat the entire day? I mean, not only is that ignorant to me, but it's ignorant to every opponent I have ever played that entire event. Okay. I mean, that, that's that's reasonable. Um, like, as I've progressed over the years, like, I've become more tolerant of just, like, illegal plays because I just understand, especially in the span of, like, a YCS, like, it's just going to happen because of fatigue, especially when you get past, like, round seven and there's breaks in between and you know, rounds go over, like, 50, 60 minutes. Like, I, it, it's understandable to me. Yeah. But Correct. there are going to be some people in the community that see one illegal play and just, like, that guy's a cheater. Immediately Number four. jump to conclusions. Correct. Yeah, I understand. And even in, even in the finals of the YCS. Now, I don't know if anybody has played Paleozoic, but I never want to play that deck again. That is the most mentally taxing thing to play for 16 rounds ever. Um... <laughs> Chase negated my my karma cut, and I threw my swap frog in the graveyard. Thank God judges were watching, because if that was in Swiss and I was that debilitated, that probably just would have, fl you know, flew. So, okay. like, people make mistakes. Do you think I, like, even in that one instant, do you think I was purposely trying to lose my finals of the YCS? Like, things right. like that slip through the cracks sometimes. 
with, for and against you, you know? Okay, question four. If Konami decided to suspend you right now uh, because of all your recent attention, um, do you think that it would be justified, and would you blame me? If so, why? <laughs> uh, I would not blame anyone. I'm, I'm a grown man, and I'm responsible for every action I took, including writing that, that message. If Konami felt that it would be in the best interest of the community to ban me, I would say that I think that is very foolish, considering I've been playing the game for as long as I have, and the only time I got negative attention was through this one thing, but I would gladly respect their wishes. Uh, that being said, I hope <laughs> I hope to God I don't get banned, because like I said, I'm at every event. So that means since this took place two almost two years ago, I have been to almost every event. Has okay. a single bad thing ever happened? No. Not with me. Yes. I'm pretty sure that they're the people that sent the investigation. Correct. Correct. So you're saying you've been investigated by Konami over this incident? Uh, I never got a direct thing from Konami. But um, the FBI that actually talked to me, they said, we're going to, if anything comes of this, you can give them my number, and they can talk to us saying, basically, we gave you a personality profile. In no way is anything going to come of this. And I think as of uh, now, two years later, we 100% know nothing came of this. It's quite obvious. Okay, it I got two more. stupid comment. All right, I got two more questions. Um, if they were listening right now, what would you tell the people who you originally made the gun threat comments to? Um, I'm very sorry you were so offended. And honestly, I should have just walked away. Um, clearly, you wanted attention, and I gave it to you, and that was my mistake. Um, I'm very sorry that you took what I said to heart, and by no means was I ever trying to cause you any mental harm at all. Okay. Last question. Um, if, is there anything that you'd want the Yu-Gi-Oh! community to know about yourself if they didn't know you personally like me and they were, this was their first time hearing about you? Um, uh, I've had two dreams in my lifetime, and I achieved one of them on Sunday. Winning so, a YCS? This was, yes, this was a long time coming for me. The feeling that I felt was undescribable. The other um, thing that people probably didn't know about me is uh, I wanted to play in the NBA, and I fell a little short because I ended up getting injured right before college. And I was very good. So okay. That's it. Yeah. I'm satisfied. You guys got any more questions or comments? <laughs> You're always making me go first. Well, All I right. mean, you, don't, well, you don't need to force it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, okay. So we've covered this. Well, I guess the other thing I guess people want to know, because my phone's been blown up about it, but we actually spoke about it earlier today. You did not release your winning deck list. And that was, and that was your personal choice. So the people right. at YouTube, the community need to know that you have stuck with that decision and your list is going to stay with you. Basically. Um, if you want me to be completely honest, um, I have promised uh, Kyle Jones. Oh, even better. Yes. The complete rights to my deck list. Uh, Sweet. Yes, honestly, uh, Calvin, uh, Ryan, Noah, everybody on that team has been so supportive of me. It was, I, I, you know, they, they've just been absolutely amazing. You know, they, they are truly loyal to one another, and that is, that is actually just truly rare in today's community. I, I, I really do. Nishad, definitely have, oh, definitely they, true. Yeah, they're, they're great people. Um, I'm saying, as of right now, I am looking for a, 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 a nice team. <laughs> a team that's going to stick together and not run as soon as trouble hits. Fair so, enough. But um, you don't perceive there to be any more trouble in the future, right? There's never going to be anything like this again, man. I'm just, um, even on my phone and everything, I've actually, just because of this, a year ago, I have actually got rid of my 
Zodiac completely. I have left the group, and they have... I, I don't know if they want trouble, but they have tried to invite me back probably about... I'd say this is very generous, uh, 50 times at least, trying to get me back into the group. So um, there will never be a discrepancy like this ever again in the future. Okay. I mean, I, I think that people's... I honestly think what people were really looking for, at least what I was looking for, is that, number one, you were never actually going to consider any type of gun violence. Number two, you are, you are apologetic. And, um, and within, with, with regards to this entire situation, and that number three, you seem to be a very clean player because there, there seems to be a lot of reason, a lot of reasons that Zodiac doesn't like you. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't know any of those preconceived notions, but from what, from what I can tell, it seemed like a very bad situation that quickly escalated and spiraled and then just kind of went out of control. It's true. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you're yeah. Yeah. But um, I, I must say, uh, nobody in this entire community and has ever had an issue with me before this point. But <laughs> ever since that horrible mistake that I made transpired, people had looked for reasons to attack me. So, uh, like I said, no proof of cheating, being called a cheater. I mean. That's pretty serious. So yeah. I'm pretty sure that, especially after seeing this video and actually getting all of the facts, obviously I didn't hide anything. I was going to tell you the exact names of the people who I sent my penis to. So <laughs> no, that, we, don't, we, yeah. we don't need I don't names. I don't know if yeah. they want to be yeah. identified. Yeah. I we think I think those ladies are entitled to their privacy. Right. No, we were, we were never hiding the truth. Okay. Well, I mean, I think this was very productive. Um, thank you, Corey Roca, for doing this interview. Uh, I mean, I really hope that it has cleared some things up. I hope in the eyes of the UDL community that you've kind of cleared your name because no one wants to win a YCS and then immediately kind of get shit on by the community because I don't know it's if you looked rough, at... Man. Yeah, I don't know if you've looked at Reddit or uh, Zodiac or even YouTube, but even when I made my video, I tried to say I'm not adding anything new to this story. All of this is... Did we lose him? Corey? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm basically closing out. But what I was going to say is I, I know it's very hard for him to reach the pinnacle of his career and then immediately get hit with just like a, a storm of, of 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 negativity you know what i mean so thank you cory roca thank you yep. cordero thank yep. you slim and uh yep. i i think we're pretty much good i think we're signing yep. out i think we're good all right sounds all good right. Uh.